go to the bottom level. I think that's where Garrus is. I believe the way you do this is between each mission you go and talk to all your crew members. That's how you unlock all the different conversations with them. And sometimes you can even get optional missions by talking to them enough and finding out, you know, what happened to them. Dun, 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 dun. Here's Rex. Nice ship you got, Shepard. What can I do for you? What's your story, Rex? There's no story. Just a sack Go of shit. Go ask if you want stories. <laughs> you Krogan lived for centuries. Don't tell me you haven't had a few interesting adventures. Well, there was this one time the Turians almost wiped out our entire race. That was fun. <laughs> I heard about that. You know, they almost did the same to us. It's not the same. It seems pretty much the same to me. So your people were infected with a genetic mutation? An infection that makes only a few in a thousand children survive birth? Ouch. And I suppose it's destroying your entire species? I guess not. I suppose it isn't all the same. I don't expect you to understand. But don't compare humanity's fate with the Krogan. I won't. Sorry, Rex. I wasn't trying to get you upset. Your ignorance doesn't upset me, Shepard. As for the Krogan, I gave up on them long ago. The genophage infected us, hmm. but it's not what's killing us. Are your people really dying? We're sure not getting any stronger. We're too spread out. None of us are interested in staying in our own system. Lots of species have left their homes and prospered. But they go to colonize new worlds. We're not settlers. We're warriors. Ah, so they're all we killing off each fight. other off. So we leave. Hire ourselves out. And most of us never go back. Huh. What about the genophage? What can you tell me about the genophage? Ask the Salarians if you want details. They made it. <laughs> Dickheads. All I know, it makes breeding nearly impossible. Damn. Thousands die in stillbirth, and most never get that far. Every Krogan is infected. Every one. And no one's rushing to find a cure. Plus, our dicks have razor-sharp spikes on them. That doesn't help things. Why don't the Krogan try to find a cure? When was the last time you saw a Krogan scientist? <laughs> to ask a Krogan, would he rather find a cure for the genophage or fight for credits? He'll choose fighting every time. <laughs> it's just who we are. In their Shepard. nature. I can't change that. Nobody can. All right. So long, Rex. Shepard. Shepard. Here's Ashley. Commander. Do you have a few minutes to talk one-on-one? -on -one? I'm sorry, Commander. I need to get my duty squared away. Oh, come on. I wouldn't mind talking more later, though. What's your opinion on the last mission? Kinda wish you'd got there sooner, Commander. No offense, I appreciate the rescue. I just wish... You wish we'd been able to save the rest of your unit? Yes, sir. If I had been more alert, we wouldn't have been cut down by an ambush. The Geth are perfect ambushers. They don't move, they don't make noise, they don't even breathe. They're jerks. Sir, they have flashlight heads. Shit, <laughs> <laughs> sir, Dismissed they have flashlight you. heads. Don't fucking, uh... Sir. What's the word I'm looking for? Do 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 do. Garrus. I inspected the Mako. Isn't there something over here? Oh, there's an alliance requisition office. Hey, Commander. Here. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Hey you, fuck you. Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. 
I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Oh, poor you. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. Boo! But no licenses, Boo. no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. I fucking pay your paycheck and you make me pay for this shit. You're kidding me, man. What an asshole. Seriously, you should be happy as a job. Give me what you fucking have, cocksucker. Same stuff that the other guy had. Nothing new, right? Same junk. Screw you. <laughs> what about Garrus? Thanks for bringing me on board, Command. I knew working with a Spectre would be better than life at CSEC. Have you worked with a Spectre before? Well, no, but I know what they're like. Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way. But CSEC, you're buried by rules. The damn bureaucrats are always on your back. For the most part, the rules are there for a reason. Maybe. But sometimes it feels like the rules are only there to stop me from doing my work. If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. But CSEC wants yeah. it done their way. Fuck collateral so damage. Procedure come first. That's why I left. So you just quit because you didn't like the way they do things? There's more to it than that. That's right. It didn't Fuck start them. out bad, but as I rose in ranks, I got saddled with more and more red tape. CSEC's handling of Saren was typical. I just couldn't take it anymore. I hate leaving. I hope you made the right choice. I'd hate for you to regret it later. Well, that's sort of why I teamed up with you. It's a chance for me to get off the Citadel, see how things are done outside CSEC. Either way, I plan to make the most of this. And without CSEC headquarters looking over my shoulder, well, maybe I can get the job done my way for a change. <laughs> if getting the job done means endangering innocent people, then no. We get the job done right, not fast. Got it? I wasn't trying to. I understand, Commander. Yeah, take that shit, asshole. <laughs> it's my way or the highway. Another codex. Hey, Commander, you know that Quarian Tally? She's been spending all her time down here asking me about our engines. I'll tell her to leave you alone. What? No, she's amazing. I wish my guys were half as smart as she is. <laughs> Give her a month on board and she'll know more about our engines than I do. She's got a real knack for technology, that one. I can see why you wanted her to come along. I figured she'd be a real asset to the team. You got an eye for Tally, Commander. But I'm guessing that's not why you came down here. Personal question. Where else have you served, Adams? If you name a class of Alliance ship, I've probably served on it. Everything from dreadnoughts and carriers right down to frigates like the Normandy. My last assignment was on the Tokyo. Only a cruiser, but she was a good ship. Couldn't hold a candle to the Normandy, though. Carry on, Adams. I like him. Screw you, Adams. He's just jerk. Nobody. We'll talk to Tally, and then we'll be on our way. Your ship's amazing, Shepard. I've never seen a drive core like, like this before. I like how her before. outfit changed back to her default one. I can't one. believe you were able to fit it into a ship this small. I'm starting to understand why you humans have been so successful. I had no idea Alliance vessels were so advanced. The Normandy's a prototype. Cutting-edge technology. A month ago, I was patching a makeshift fuel line into a converted tug ship in the flotilla. Now... I'm sitting on board one of the most advanced vessels in Citadel space. I have to thank you again for bringing me along. Traveling on a vessel like this is a dream come true for me. I had no idea you found ship technology so interesting. It comes with being a Quarian. The migrant fleet is the key to the survival of my people. Ships are our most valuable resource. But we don't have anything like this. We make do with cast-offs and second-hand equipment. We just try to keep them running for as long as we can. Some of the fleet's larger vessels date all the way back to our original flight from the Geth. I can't believe your fleet's still using ships that are three centuries old. They're constantly being repaired, modified, and refitted. They aren't pretty, but they work. Mostly. We've tried to make ourselves as independent as possible on the flotilla. Grow our own food, mine, and process our own fuel. But some things we just can't make on our own. A patch to maintain the hull integrity requires raw materials we just don't have. That's why our pilgrimages are so important. I want to know more about the pilgrimage. 
When my people reach maturity, we leave our birth ships and seek acceptance with a new crew. Huh. It's necessary to maintain genetic diversity among the fleet. But no ship wants to accept someone who will be a burden on them. So, to prove our worth, we embark on a pilgrimage. We set out alone, leaving the flotilla and our families behind us. We only return once we have found something of value we can bring back to the fleet. This is presented as a gift to the captain of the respective ship we wish to join. Huh. If the gift is accepted, we are welcomed into the crew. Can a captain choose to reject the gift? Uh, that doesn't happen often. Most captains are eager to increase the size of their crew. It increases their own standing in our society. Even when a gift is not particularly valuable, the captain usually accepts it out of a sense of tradition. However, there is a stigma to presenting a substandard gift. Uh. It's not the best way to make a good impression on a new community. Most pilgrims don't return until they find something worthwhile. I want to talk about something else. Uh, like what? I don't care about anything else. I should go. See you later. Alright, let's get going on a real mission. Da 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 da! I think first we'll save what's her face. The Smurf, Smurfette. That's what I usually do, so that way I have a full crew. And she's one of the best characters in the game, so. <laughs> Alright. Do we go to the bridge first? I forget. I forget if I have to go to the bridge or the map. Codex entry, but it's not where I'm supposed to go. All right, guess we're going to the map. It's a citadel. All right. Uh, asteroid X-57. What's there? Asgard. That must be one of the optional missions. Utopia. Ah, uh, let's see what's her face first. Liara's dig site. Yep, let's do this first. <laughs> Where are we supposed to be going? Athens? I don't remember. Sparta? I don't know, let me check the data. So we don't end up in the wrong place. Journal. I guess I have the world's explore the uncharted world of the Artemis Tau cluster to find Liara Dasani. Doesn't tell you. What the fuck? Got the bullshit. Well, let's go there. <clears throat> Here we go. First flight. Launch your ass like a bullet. I love Commander, it. Commander, urgent message from Alliance Command coming in. I'll patch it through. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett from Alliance Command. We've got a situation here, and you're the only one that can handle it. Huh. What do you need, Admiral? There's an Alliance training ground where we test weapons and technology and live fire simulations. One of the VIs we use to simulate enemy tactics in the drills is no longer responding to our override commands. It's gone rogue. Whoa. Are you telling me this computer is thinking on its own? We're not stupid, Shepard. This is a virtual intelligence, not a true AI. It's not self-aware, and it can't access any external systems. We didn't do anything illegal here. 
Virtual intelligence support is critical to our military success. VIs process thousands of status reports and react in nanoseconds. No human can do that. We need you to fight your way through the training ground at the VI core and manually disable it. Can't you disable it remotely? Our fail-safes aren't responding. The VI operates on a closed network. It can affect any external systems, but we don't have any direct access to its processes. We could bomb it from orbit, but the damage to the facility would be catastrophic. We'd prefer to have someone shut down the core. Someone like you. I know Spectre's answer the council, but you're still human. You're still part of the Alliance military. No, I'm not. Fuck and right you. now, we need you. I do what I want. The VI controls all the facility's weapons, drones, and automated defenses. You're the only one that can pull this off, Shepard. Good luck. Well, I'm not doing that shit, so fuck you. I have no idea what plants I'm supposed to be going to. Oh, I found a gas deposit. Oh shit, I pressed B by accident. Uh -uh. Nothing there. Nothing there. Commander, I'm picking up a signal from the planet's surface. It looks like an automated distress beacon. Analyst. This could be it. Let's land. Let's see if this is it or not. I don't remember if this is the right planet or not. <laughs> this could be really sucky if it's not the right planet. Uh, let's put Rex. Let's do Caden. Rex and Caden. Where's my map? Anomaly, anomaly. There's the distress signal. Great. I don't think this is the right planet. Oh well, let's see what this is. At the very least, we're at the first, uh... The first planet landing. A lot of asteroids hitting down here. This is where the distress signal's coming from, right here? What the shit? Oh, I forgot about these! I totally forgot about these. All right, I gotta blow it with missiles, that's right. Where'd he go? Come on, you asshole. Fuck. Maybe I shouldn't have prepared here. It's probably a bad choice. I'm gonna get hit. <laughs> Where'd he go? Move. He didn't move. Damn, I can't get hit again or I'm toast. Is 
It's almost dead. Whoa! Almost dead. Die, you son of a bitch. Come on, man. One more hit. Two or one or two more hits. Can't see jack shit. Come on. He has zero health. Finally. Killed it. Holy crap. Holy crap. Well, they're all dead. Let's fucking heal this thing first. <laughs> Redeploying. Ah. These are Admiral Kohoku's men. We need to tell them what happened to you. Oh, these are Admiral Kohoku's men? Oh, shit. I didn't even realize that's what this mission was. Alright, we gotta get out of here. Let's heal this thing again. I had no idea these were Admiral Kohoku's men. That was just total uh, coincidence. Alright. I want to get back in the ship. How do I do that? I don't remember. There we go. Complete coincidence. All right, so back to the map. Survey it. Rare element. We found a rare element of plutonium. Oh fuck, I pressed the wrong button again. I keep pressing B instead of X. I used to do that all the time. All right, so, uh, uh, let's go to Gnosis. So what's over there? Nothing there. Nothing there. Theorem. Looks like this might be where what's her face is. All right, let's land here. I think this is where she is. Fireball. Let's do the same team. Yeah, this is it. I remember this music. Yep, I recognize the planet. We're in the right place this time. Definitely in the right place. So here we go. Just a long trench till uh, to up here. Let's go, Commander. I'm picking up some strange readings. Really strange, like off the damn charts. It looks like it's coming from an underground complex a few clicks away from the drop zone. Do 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 do. By the way, the graphics really are this bright. I know the camera looks really bright, but a lot of these planets have really weird graphics. This is one of them. From what I heard, Mass Effect 2, no more Mako exploration. So, that's a plus. 
No more of these driving stages. That's good. Because from what I heard, in this game, what was supposed to happen was you're supposed to be able to upgrade the Mako to have better abilities, better handling, and all that. And then they decided to nix that idea and just give it all the abilities at the beginning of the game. But it ended up that all these Mako segments kind of sucked dick. They do. They're boring. Like, they are driving, driving. I'm going to go around this corner. I have to kill a couple guys. It's not fun. Now, here we go. The Geth. The Geth just showed up. So I'm just going to drive right by these. Ignore them. Can't really do anything to me. Look, here's some more gas. These I have to stop on it. What? Look at this bullshit. Now I'm stuck. One turret now. Got it. I'm trying to back up. I'm pressing back and he's not going back. He's really not, look. The controls are awful. I'm pressing back and he's going forward. Alright. So fuck that shit. I have to go inside. Well, I don't see a door. What the fuck? I can't go inside this one? That's bullshit. So it appears I cannot go inside this one. This is the wrong way. So I fought those for no reason. Great. I'm supposed to go this way. Come on, fucking Mako. I hate the handling on this goddamn thing. It sucks. Go straight, you dumb fuck. Toasted. Ha, 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 ha. Nicely toasted. Look at this. Yes, that's definitely what I wanted to do. Launch my goddamn vehicle into the air, of course. Oh. Rape them in the Mako. Rape them. <laughs> Brave their faces. Boom! Oh. There's a guy here, but he must be inside because I don't see him. Here we go again. I can't fucking get it to drive the way I want. What the hell is it doing, dude? <laughs> I think they would have patched the fucking controls for this thing by now, but I guess not. Alright, let's get these assholes. Rocket that shit. You got owned. X, A, Y. So complicated. Hey, look, a bunch of junk. 
There's the gate controls. Let's go for a light jog. Do 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 do. Do 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 do.